And I only had Jesus left. I said, I just look to you, Jesus. Spare my life because I want to minister to thy people and to a lost world some more. And I was just thinking about the goodness of God to spare my life. I had no idea about what's happening today. Of course, I heard about little Janelle, Joy, and my wife and I were very happy. I wish Phyllis could be here on this occasion, but maybe I can take it back on the videotape. Thank the Lord for modern technology. But I'm so happy and I feel uh, so honored to be here today that the Lord spared my life to be in the kingdom for such an hour as this, to enjoy the singing and to enjoy your presence and all who are participating today. And uh, much more to be said, I think my brothers and Clinton and Jim said some of my sentiments. I love that little, that little gal over there. So I suppose we might as well just go on with the Ceremony. I don't think either Bruce or Laura wants it drawn out very long. And I don't know how to read and hold this microphone at the same time. Maybe you'll be my music stand, okay? But I was thinking about uh, Mark 10, 13, 16. And they brought young children to him that he should test them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But Jesus saw it. He was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and bless them. If Jesus was here today, he would do the same thing. But we are but channels of what God has put in our heart to be a blessing to others. I'll say a little bit also. Uh, really beloved, the family is a divine institution. I believe we all believe that. Ordained of God from the beginning of time, God formed Adam and Eve and started that part of the creation. And uh, God has committed to, like Bruce and, and Laura, this dear little child. And they are responsible for protecting this child and training the child up uh, for the glory of God. And uh, it is meet that all parents recognize this obligation and their responsibility to, to God, I believe, in this matter. It's our responsibility. I knew I felt that very strongly when Ruth and Doug came along and I said, what have I got in for? <laughs> it's a lifetime job, isn't it? And so we recognize our responsibility, and just like Joshua of old trained her child, Moses, after having given him to the Lord, she trained him up during his life. And uh, somebody mentioned Hannah this afternoon. She recognized that her child was Jehovah's. And even Mary also brought the infant Jesus to the temple and dedicated him to the Lord. Now, the parents of this child likewise recognize the sacredness of their charge and now bring back to the Lord this beautiful little treasure with which he has trusted them. I believe you feel that with all your heart, don't you? And in so doing, they recognize and hereby publicly acknowledge their responsibility for 
the nurture and admonition of this child in the way of righteousness and goodness. I'm sure they're going to do that. Amen? Amen. So I think we'll just have Bruce and Laura stand with the little baby girl. And I know I stood before the preacher, and, and I think before and in the presence of God, I'm going to ask you a few things. In the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses, do you solemnly undertake to bring this child up in the fear and admonition of the Lord? Do you promise early to seek to lead her to the accepting of the Lord Jesus Christ as her Savior? I know you will. Do you promise as far as in you lie to set before her an example and a godly and parental life? And may I remind you that the dedication of this little child also comes into play the dedication that both of you have to the Lord. And I know that you've given the Lord your heart and you want to serve him. Now I think I can have that little child. Yeah, just give me your butt. Thank you. Yes, I can have the parents. Yeah, the grandparents. Also. Thank <laughs> you. 